Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is the weekend of the 28th and the 29th of November 2020 and also the season where my jumpers start to get a little bit creative. Got to show you this one. Okay, so this is the stag acorn or the unicorn that's a stag that has, um, I don't even know what they are, bobbly things on its antlers and it shines and it's made of sequins. You know what I'm like. I love a sequin. Okay, oh, we are using the Smelly Tarot, oh, or what we refer to as Smells Like the 70s. Wowzers, okay. Straight in there with the big energies. And we are revving up Grr. for the eclipse. We're feeling it. Crumbs. Crumbs, oh. Okay, he tried to go into reverse. He kind of flipped as he went onto the floor. Oh my God. Whoa. Oof. Okay, spiritual big jobs, I think. Spiritual big jobs. And we are joined by both of the cats today. If you can see them, they both. So Valentine is just, she's, as I said her name, Valentine, her ear just twitched. Valentine, like not doing that twice, lady. And then her mum is hiding in plain sight just behind her. Love hate relationship because they did beat the living crapola out of each other this morning and now they're all snuggled. Okay, and also somebody is repairing the chimney. Uh, so there could be some uh, obbles and bobbles and noises and jiggles and God knows what. We will see. Okay, at least it's our own noise and it's not someone drilling down the street. Now, let's deal with the major arcana first, the spiritual big jobs. The emperor is in the middle of the reading and I'm actually liking this energy. Sometimes I think I'm a bit neggy about the emperor, you know. Um, don't know why that is. Of course, it represents Zeus. We've got the eagle. It's this kind of power, the father of the tarot, the need to take charge, the CEO, all of that stuff. But it feels quite Mars and aries -y. It feels Aries positive. You know, when um, all star signs have their kind of higher and lower echelons. And if you know what your star sign is, you'll know what they are. So with Aries though, there's obviously a lot of number one. There's a lot of fresh Mars energy. That feels good. And underneath it, the King of Wands. Yes. King of Wands is the fire king, the kind of um, make stuff happen, shake it around the joints. You know, the kind of negative thing can be that he can be impetuous, he can be a bit of a player romantically, he can be a bit of a player politically. It's all that kind of stuff. But I like it. This is like a plumb line of energy. And above it, the Queen of Swords, intellectual precision. Decision making, BS cutting, I like that. I know she's not Major Arcana and neither is he, but I'm sort of, I'm just deviating from the script really, as I always do, <laughs> because that's how this feels. But it feels like a plumb line of very clear thinking and action is starting to emerge. Nice. Then we get these two cards. Here's the Hermit again, my favorite. In fact, can I say this? I think I can. If we were to vote and put in the comments section, if you have it, if you're a complete tarot geek like I am, I mean, I love tarot cards. And I think I've said before, if I'm buying a deck, I will look at the Seven of Swords and the Hermit. Those are the ones for me that tell you what kind of an artwork you're gonna get. This is probably my favorite tarot card artwork wise altogether. So this is the Morgan Greer. It's the vintage version. If you're looking at buying it, it's not the new one because that's slightly different. Um, that's my favorite. I love it. But anyhow, here's the Hermit again. It's lockdown energy. It's the energy of seeking your own counsel, going within, finding power within. Very different energy to the Emperor. 
The hermit, if you look, is looking at the lamp and also very distinctly the hermit is dressed in a sackcloth. He hasn't got any riches except himself and he hasn't got a throne, he hasn't got a golden eagle, he hasn't got a scepter of power. He's just got a big stick, you know, like Gandalf. Um, and a lamp with a star in. And he's on a rock. And that's it. And the rock's got snow on it. I reckon it's cold and he's not very comfortable, but he has everything he needs. It's this energy of the Queen of Swords, the Emperor, the King of One, King of Rods, and the Hermit mixed together is making a very single minded. I don't even know what to call it. I don't know if it's collective or individual. You will know that. But it's making a very single minded force. Speaking of force, I think this is called forcer in some languages. Could be totally wrong. Strength, the lion, Leo energy, fire energy, but the energy of fixed fire, because Leo is fixed fire. Aries is cardinal fire, I think, where it starts things. Leo is fixed fire, where it gets stuff done. Also, there's the power, the ace of wands. This is good. I think this is leading up to the eclipse, clearing the way for something quite powerful and a new set of patterns, a new set of endeavors. Here we have the eight of pentacles. Put the work in. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to knock out the pentacles. It's going to be like this. Virgo energy. Okay. Virgo energy, of course, comes up again in the hermit. How can I be of service? And then underneath it all, judgment, past, present and future. Judgment, again, is about raking back the past, but not in a kind of, here comes the past, God, not this, you know, what fresh stuff is this? Um, it's more in terms of things moving in cycles. And here it is again, because you're in a better position, hermit-wise, to deal with something. You know, you get another go over, but you're wiser. Here comes the bin men. Let's let them go. Three of cups, nice energy. We had this yesterday in the reverse, blocked communication. Um, it feels like, if you're thinking of it in terms of jam tomorrow, and I want a butterfly card, it feels like jam next year. It doesn't even feel like jam tomorrow. It feels like jam next year. Speaking of which, I just got myself an advent calendar, which is jam. I know, I know, I know. It's a different pot of jam for every day of the advent. Yes, yes, I know. I love jam, I love toast. It's genius, genius. Yes, what the bottom one though too. We get Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, the Spiral Dancer. This is circuitous route, perception. It's that whole, we are making progress, <laughs> but not in a linear way, okay? Lasso. Um, we're making progress in circles, moving upwards. I like that energy and that's the energy of the Three of Cups and Judgment. Here comes the past, upwinding to become the future. And then we get the Keeper of the Scales, Fairness and Balance, Libra and Energy. We've had this for ages. And I would say if we were looking for a missing card on the table, that we'd be looking for justice. Yeah. Maybe jam tomorrow, maybe justice tomorrow, maybe justice is the new jam. Oh, we get listening. This is the energy of hearing something at a whole different level. And in order to do that, you need some kind of spiritual quiet. And in order to get spiritual quiet, you need to take yourself out of the noise. However, that resonates for you. And that is the hermit energy. And then I can't ignore that I looked at the bottom of the deck and it's soulmate. Might just be for one or two of you. And especially if you are not in communication with somebody 
Okay, we're going to have one butterfly card as well. That hermit energy can be a separation vibe. Yay. Okay, Doreen Virtue's butterfly spirit cards, something like that. Heavenly signs. I like that. It looks like it's a butterfly on a stick, which it isn't. Um, that goes with listening, okay, because they're not going to come to you on the back of a cereal packet or on a tea towel. They're going to come to you in weird ways, maybe through your antlers. Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know if you could understand any of that reading. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.